Hey guys, I'm Sabir Islam and welcome to the very first episode of the Build Your Confidence on Stage series, a weekly show where I'll be sharing my public speaking know-how, tips and guidance to help you improve your public speaking skills. And we'll kickstart off today's show with a very important topic which is speech preparation and why it's a must. <music> So why is speech preparation important? Well, as part of my experience throughout my speaking career, there are three things that I always do before I step on stage to speak and present at an event. The first thing I call the triangle formula. Next is having a clear objective. And thirdly, it's about clarity and rehearsals. So let's look at point number one. The triangle formula looks at three key elements. You as the speaker, your subject, and the audience. Now, before you even go on to the stage to present, it's about having an eagle-eyed vision, the full perspective of the entire event itself. So looking at from your perspective, you as the speaker and connecting with the subject, what do you know about the subject itself? How much research, how much background research have you already done to be able to share that knowledge, share that information? Because you have to remember that you're actually educating the people who are attending. So what is it that you know about this subject and do you know it well enough? So enough research, enough knowledge about that subject is critical as part of your speech preparation. Now, you look at from the audience perspective, the audience and the subject. Now, what does the audience already know about this topic in which you're presenting? Are they already well educated uh, in this subject? If they are, how much knowledge are you adding to them? Are you adding something that they already know or existing uh, skill that they already have? Uh, if so, then are you really adding any benefits to the audience itself? So you have to be very clear that whoever you're presenting to in the real world, that you're actually adding some form of value. If the audience already knows a lot about the topic or a lot about the, the subject of interest in which you're presenting, then you have to ask yourself, is this really your event? Are you, should you be presenting at this event? And more importantly, looking at the audience and yourself, that interconnection of that triangle as well. You and the audience, what do you know about the audience? Who are they? Where are they from? What's their cultural background? Uh, and also for the audience, know about you. How did you present yourself? Are they aware of you or who you are or your area of expertise? All of these are critical as part of that triangle formula. It's about knowing all of these small fine prints when it comes to speaking on stage because what you don't want is to be going on stage and actually winging it and what you don't want is for the audience to be sitting back and thinking oh i actually know what he's already talking about or she's already talking about so you want to avoid all of that so before whenever i go on stage i make sure that i have that triangle formula in my mind and i'm able to present that to myself actually is this the correct event in which i need to speak at sometimes yes you push boundaries by all means go for it but the idea is that you have to have a full 360 perspective of your audience, of your subject, even yourself before you're presenting. Secondly, it's about having a clear objective. Now, before you even begin to prepare your speech or actually presenting on stage, you need to know what the outcome is. You already have to have that in your mind that after you've presented, this is what you want the audience to have had in mind or have gone through some form of change because that's the whole idea. They come in with a specific state of mind and after they've heard you speak, they have to leave with a completely different state of mind. So that can be both emotionally, physically, and even you can have a call to action that gets them to do something. So it's about having that in perspective. Now, if I was to give you an example from a personal experience, uh, every event I go to that is focused on self-development, self-discovery, there's always a question I would ask the audience. When you leave this world, what will you be remembered for? Now that gets them to think on a very philosophical level because not many people actually ask themselves that question. And when they ask themselves and the event, they actually just get to think about it during the event. They leave the event in a completely changed mind that actually they want to leave behind a legacy. They want to find their value, their purpose in life. And that's some of the, the things that I actually get them to think about because sometimes we do not give ourselves enough time. So that's my objective for people to leave the event to think more about themselves rather than the noise that they are surrounded with in today's world. So have a clear objective as part of your speech preparation and you will see it will take you a long way when accomplishing the bigger picture. Finally, point number three is about clarity and rehearsals. 
Honestly, when you're speaking on stage, you want to scrap out all the noise, all the extra baggage in which your presentation carries. Because when you're performing, and what it is when you're speaking on stage, it is a performance, and you want to make sure that you're very clear and concise in the message you're delivering. Because a lot of the time, the audience won't hear or understand everything you're sharing. So it's about those one or two very important points that you want them to take away from your speech, the core message. Everything else can, can be told in various ways, but as long as you keep it short, simple, concise, and to the point, and it actually hits the nail on the head, then the audience understands because that's ultimately why they're there, to take away those one or two uh, important points. But how you do that is through rehearsals. So make sure you, in fact, even for, my, for myself, from my own personal experience, whether I'm presenting on stage or even doing a video like this, I perform a lot of the time in my living room, in my bedroom, actually just talking to myself uh, and just getting those words out there, seeing that how do I sound? Am I saying too much? Am I saying too little? Uh, what makes sense? What doesn't? In fact, even recording myself to be able to look back and say, uh, no, that, that doesn't go right, that doesn't look right, I need to take that away. So all of those are important. So make sure you rehearse and you're clear and concise and make sure your vocals have clarity uh, and that's what the audience will take away. So guys, just to summarize today's episode on speech preparation and why it's a must, we covered three very important things. Making sure you have an eagle-eyed vision using the triangle formula, a clear objective as part of your speech preparation and also speaking with clarity and making sure you rehearse. So folks, I look forward to seeing you all next week for another episode of the Build Your Confidence on Stage series. Thanks guys for watching this episode. Now, if you're serious about kickstarting your career in public speaking, I'm launching the Build Your Confidence on Stage book and online modular public speaking course, where I will teach you the four pillars of public speaking, which include the speaker's psychology, the principles of public speaking, the performance masterclass, and the profession of a public speaker. So if you're keen on harnessing your public speaking skills and turning your passion for speaking into a lifestyle profession, then register your interest now by visiting www.buildyourconfidenceonstage.com. The link is below and I look forward to supporting your public speaking learning journey. See you next week.